XDA Developers TV, what is going on? My name is Kevin, aka The Tech Ninja. And today on XDA TV, I have a special video that I made just for you. Today, I'm going over the most used, most talked about, and the most customizable lock screen widget. It's called Dash Clock. It's made by developers Norman Runke. I messed up his name. <laughs> Dash Clock is designed to be a lock screen widget. It's quite possible to add it to your home screen, but it's not really designed for that. Also, you need to have at least Android 4.2 to add lock screen widgets. There are workarounds that you can use by using different applications like Widget Locker. However, the results may not be desired. To expand your notifications, slide your finger down. What this does, this shows you all of your extensions that has active notifications. So now we're gonna press on the slider button in the top right corner, which takes us to all of our extensions. As you can see here, I have about 20 extensions or so that are activated. Now only five or six were showing up because only these five or six actually had active notifications. So I'm gonna swipe these all away and press the check mark. So we're gonna start fresh. This is basically when you first have it installed, it looks just like this. We're gonna head back into our settings. We're gonna do add extension. And then from here, we can select all of our extensions. We have several options in here. We're actually able to change the order that it's in. We're gonna use the little, I don't know what to call this thing, but we're gonna move that up and down. So press to the left of the icon to drag and place the order it's in. Then we're gonna press the check mark again. And we can see our changes are now here. We're gonna head back into the options once more. Now we're gonna press extensions and we're gonna push on appearance. This allows us to change our clock. So we can just swipe through the different clock styles that we have and also the way that the, that the bottom is displayed, the, the way that it shows the actual date as well. So it's pretty cool, it gives us a little freedom to use. Press the check mark and then go ahead and go back into the options once more. We're gonna to go to get more extensions and we're gonna use the Play Store. So once we do get more extensions, it's gonna show you all the extensions that are available. And a lot of applications have built in extensions too. So we're just gonna pick an extension just to use as an example. We're gonna select the dash clock dial extension widget. This just enables us to quick dial someone or get to our dial pad quickly um, from dash clock. And if you're worried about security, don't worry about it. If I had a password on my phone, it would require the password to be put in before any of this on Dash Clock is active. You can read the notifications, but you can't access the notifications, so don't worry. We're gonna add the extension, which is our direct dial extension. We're gonna head into the settings and we're gonna adjust it so it actually opens up the phone app when pushing on it. Go ahead and put, put the check mark. And once we head back in, we go ahead and push the button and it opens our phone application. Just one more thing to show you guys. Each extension has settings. So make sure you dig into your settings before you expect it to work properly. You need to go in here and configure each extension independently to ensure that it works properly. And also, um, as I said in the beginning, you can add this as a home screen widget. Now, as I said, I don't recommend it because it gets a little weird right here. So we have to extend it all the way out and it takes up the whole home screen. It's pretty, it's not as appealing. So it's really designed to be a lock screen widget. And I mean, it still works, but it's just not as expected. So just wanted to show you guys that. And that's all I'm gonna cover today. I promise Jimmy McGee, I'm gonna keep this video under 15 minutes and I think I've accomplished that. So guys, this is just enough to get you guys going, um, understanding Dash Clock and how to use it. It's a great tool, my favorite lock screen widget that I ever used and hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Once again, my name is Kevin, AKA The Tech Ninja. My little video back there, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Hey guys, you can contact me directly on my YouTube channel at The Tech Ninja. Type it in YouTube, it comes right up. Also, I have a Twitter account, which is Tech Ninja Speaks Twitter. And also I have a website that I'm working on coming soon. Hey guys, as always, let's have fun, let's learn, and let's be creative together. Once again, I'm Kevin, AKA The Tech Ninja. And I'm getting out of here. Peace, go Tigers.
The worst thing I saw this weekend was the injury to Kevin Ware. I want you guys to keep him in your thoughts and prayers, and hopefully he comes back with a speedy recovery.